Hello and welcome back, I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here in the new liveried out HTC 350Z on layout number two. HTC round two is this weekend, so we are in the final days of practice. So we gotta get this track dialed. So the Z has been tweaked a little bit. We're getting our tires warmed up and we're gonna go full send. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which you found in the description box below. So like I said, round two is this weekend after coming off my podium second place. Definitely looking for a good showing. Drift Snacks coming in also in round two. Looking new, better his finish. So we're gonna go full send and see if we can't tackle this first treacherous turn. We're gonna try everything on stock setting before we make any tweaks. This is the hard, interesting part. Manage that flick in, little handbrake there. Handbrake in there. Oh, and that would be a plus five seconds right there. It's not what we want to do. This track is very tight, and the straightens up is very easy to get on this track with all these walls in these places. Managed to get that clip. Oh, there's a plus one second also for that cone. That one's kind of in a very weird spot, but we managed to get it. So we got plus five and plus one, so not looking uh, too promising so far of a run. Because <laughs> that plus five is a major hit. Any straightening up is a major thing in this type of driving, especially in HDC. With drivers trying to do some clean full runs. Stock uh, tune on the Z is definitely working pretty well we're probably gonna try and throw on the tune from round one and see if maybe that will help me out come on and cut on the inside Ooh, this track much more technical than round one a lot tighter a lot more places to mix up and forget where you're going we're gonna come in short this way and walls that can eat you alive as you saw going in that first section that wall Definitely uh, did a number on me, causing me to do a big straighten. Coming into this section, this long little sweeper. Slow it down, slow it down, there we go. Managing those little jersey barriers. Kicking around this section. Into another hard right-hander. Staying on power. I like the gear ratio that we're on. We need a little more grip coming through. Come this way, cut it back, stay in power through the cones, and so plus six. I only saw a plus six. So not too terrible. So let's go back to pits. 206 plus six, so 212. Ooh, and you can see how that time adds up super fast. So we're gonna go load our layout one comp set, and we're gonna see what layout one comp set is. Actually, I wanna see, I like the gear ratio, so we're gonna reset to default. We're at a three nine. And then we're gonna to go to our comp set one and load it. We still have a three nine, but we got a little bit of a tire pressure change in camber and caster and things of that nature. So let's go for another second run. Gotta heat the tires up though. One major thing, gotta make sure those tires are nice and warm. Had to adjust some of my reflection settings and things of that in nature. This track is very, very, very lit and very happy with graphics. So I had to increase my FPS a little bit. Got it all dialed in, so we're good to go. Heat up those fronts. All right, let's uh, let's go full send. Fourth gear, come through the chute. Handbrake it in. Manage this section. Cut that in a little bit. We're getting a little bit of frame rate lag there. Probably should have been a lot closer. I need to zoom my camera in, but we did make it through without straightening up. So we did make it to that first section without dying. Ooh, a bit of frame rate glitch, but I'm not sure why that's happening right now, but we're gonna power through it. Clipping point isn't there anymore, but we would have we hit it. 
This is a pretty clean run. That could be borderline straighten. Hopefully the judges would be in my favor with that one. Because that was borderline. There's a plus one. Whoa, that was almost a plus two. Final for days of practice before round two. If I would have pulled that E-break, that would have been a straighten. This this uh, this setting has a lot more grip involved. Although it is giving me the ability to get really close on these sections, so I may run my tune that I had set for comp one because the track is flat, like layout one. So it's just a matter of keeping the tires spinning because the gear ratio is the same. Just a lot less tire pressure in the rear and some uh, camber adjustments. So we only had a plus one right now, so this is definitely a way better run. Oh, stay in angle, stay in angle. We got it, we stay in angle. Oh, we almost picked up a plus two. So plus one is a lot better right now. Or was it plus two? Well, plus one or plus two, either way, way better than the plus six from last one. Come across the line, sliding in nice and smooth there. And let's go back to pits, see what the tail of the tape says. 205 plus one or plus two, so a 206, 207. Way better than the last run. Definitely, I would take that. Honestly, I would probably take that run because I would not want to get a plus five. So, I think what we're gonna do is we're going to Bump the pressures up a smidge. I think they're a tad too low. And then we're actually going to save this as comp set two. There we go. We're going to go for a third and final send probably here for this episode. Doing a lot of practicing here for this round. Like I said, coming off of a second place podium in round one. Definitely going to want to come in clutch. My car's not in fourth gear, by the way. My uh, tablet just decided to freeze. You notice I am running on H pattern right now and says sequential because I don't have to shift on this course. So we pretty much go in fourth and stick it in there and forget it. Now I think we're actually going to be starting one line ahead. I'll make sure when we get in the driver's meeting or whatever which way we're going to be if we're going to be starting there or back here. I think we actually are starting at the red box. But we're going to start here so that may give us a second less in the actual competition. So let's do it. Let's try this two now. Basically just a tire pressure change. You break. Wall tap, that was close to a straighten as well. Can't see. Third person, definitely a problem in that section. But we're managing to get some runs down. So that's Definitely a little more confidence booster because before I was not able to really get any runs in. Oh. As I say that, we go hard into that wall. Those walls will kill you. That would be the end of that run, I would think, unless other people were banging into walls. So we're going to try and not do that again. Just kind of lighten up the tires, getting some heat in those. In those uh, Achilles back there. Achilles 1, 2, 3 is what I'm running on this car. Snacks is running the same. That was a much better entry there. So if we tuck this really close. Okay, so that's what we need to do. We need to tuck it really close. But that's, that's like risking it major to dragging the front and having some issues. There we go. We got this. We got this now, we're good. Tablet's saying, I'm done, bye. Oh, no, it's back, we're back. We have a dashboard again. Not that it really matters, we're already in gear. Oh, we got this. This is uh the best first section that we've had yet. Almost biffed it there, as I say that we tap a wall and close to a straighten, but we didn't actually straighten up, so we're good. Go 
going into the roundabout section. Still no penalties. We're on a smooth run, which I think smooth is better than fast in some aspects because the person who won round one, Mark, had no penalties. So, I had plus two. So, sometimes it might pay to just be smoother than fast. No penalties could be the way to take a win because he took podium spot. Number one, I took second spot. Oh, that was risky. I felt the I felt the back end going up that jersey barrier. Slow it down in this section, staying angle, very dirty e brake grab. Definitely gonna want to extend that out a little bit more. We're getting some solid final practice in before round two. Round two is on Sunday, one o'clock Eastern, I believe. So make sure you guys are able to watch it if you can. Across the line with zero penalties. Zero penalties. So that is the run that I would want to do in the round. So, was it faster though? It was not faster. Last lap was a 206.2. I would take that because that's just a 206.2. No penalties. That was 205, but I had two penalties. So, technically, it would have been seven. So. Round two, super excited. Definitely a very tricky course. Hex are throwing out massive amounts of uh, tricks, but there's a lot of talent in the HCC grouping, so hopefully I can have a good showing. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.